Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Brian at The Inevitable You, and in today's podcast, I'm going to be covering some tips, uh, tools, strategies that'll make your epic health creation uh, and trajectory even easier. These are things that I believe everyone should implement into their routine. It's things that I either currently use, have experimented with, um, tools that I find very effective that are going to help you feel better, uh, increase longevity, just improve your overall health. Uh, So some examples are going to be how to feel more rested and energized when you wake up, how to get the most out of your sleep, uh, some of the latest technology that really protects you from some of the harmful effects of radiation and uh, electromagnetic fields that uh, you know come from our uh, devices like our phones and our computers. Um, and I'm going to share one of my favorite resources that uh, I get a lot of this knowledge uh, and information from. So if you're just looking for a great thing to refer to for some um the latest in science around health, uh, this is going to be the one resource you want to use. Also, I'm going to share the one habit that I believe everyone should implement. Um, It's something that I practice regularly that really helps with eliminating toxic waste, um, toxic cells from the body, and is very effective for managing weight. So I hope you enjoy the content. If you want more uh, like this, you can Go to our member site, sign up for a free trial. It's 30 days. It's a $39 a month program. There's self-paced resources, um, online courses, and this content specifically comes out of our Tuesday night uh, coaching call that I uh, do with our members and clients. It's live. Um, It's more of a QA and a style, so you'll get the content portion of that, but if you sign up for the membership, um, you'll be able to participate in those Q&A sections. Ask me any questions that you want. Just listen in on other people's questions. We have great conversations. And just being in an environment uh, and a community of other folks that are dedicated, committed to making changes in their life, pursuing their goals, um, attaining their greatness, it's very inspiring and insightful. So um, inevitably, theinevitableyou.com. Go there, sign up for your trial. Hope to see you there and hope you enjoy the content. I wanted to cover some really practical tips, um, some things that I've found really useful, some tools, um, not so much on the changing the thought pattern side of things, but these definitely make the experience a lot easier. They're tools that I believe everyone should be using um, and they're pretty easily accessible. Some of these are, um, a a couple of them are connected to uh, changes in how you're approaching things, your your thought patterns, but um, most of these are really um, actually tools that that you can either buy or um, implement into your routines and your health creation, your your epic health trajectory. So, One of the things I mentioned is how we could get better sleep, how we can wake up feeling more energized, um, feeling like you're getting the most out of your sleep that you can. And uh, one of the things is, so you see here, um, asked as a question, you know, are you, do you feel tired? Do you feel exhausted at the end of the day? Or, Or in parentheses, do you feel victorious? So this is pretty common. I get this a lot from clients that they'll say, oh, I'm just exhausted. I'm, um, you know, I'm overwhelmed, could be. Um, And with everything that we talk about here, you really want to consider overwhelmed and exhaustion as uh, software. And going back to those habitual sentences, that we're using, you know, one of the examples I I gave, you know, a couple couple calls ago, a couple weeks um, was, you know, are you busy telling yourself, oh, I hate being sick, this is terrible, and that, and versus I love I, I love my immune system, this is amazing, it's protecting me, it's doing all the necessary things to keep me healthy and you know get toxins out of my system. So really getting conscious about the language that we're using, how you're talking to your body. And then at the end of the day, I mean, how often do we hear, 
um, you know, one of the common things is, hey, how are you doing? Oh, I'm so busy. Oh, I'm busy, 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 busy. And then, you know, at the end of the day, what what is that self-talk that you're using? Oh, I'm so tired. Even in the morning when you wake up, oh, I'm so tired. And oh, it's Monday. And oh, I hate Mondays. And, and these are all connected. These are all part of the same kind of point that I'm making here about your habitual sentences and using NLP to benefit you. So, you know, instead of saying exhausted, do you say you're victorious? I had an amazing day. Man, I was busy. I, I'm i depleted on energy, but not only am I exhausted, man, I, I left everything out there. I am victorious. And, you know, there's still some things left that left on my to-do list for tomorrow, but it'll be waiting for me when I wake up. And I just feel amazing about everything that I was able to accomplish today. Now, if if not, if you can't make those off those sentences authentically, that's a different question. But to get into a new habit of not just saying how tired and exhausted you are, but how victorious are you because of all that you got done. Now, um, here's one of these practical things. This is, you know, science-based, the science on sleep is that we generally sleep in 90-minute cycles. So, you know, in order to get to REM, it it occurs during one of these 90-minute cycles. So preferably, you you do not want to wake up with in the middle um, or any time really during that 90-minute cycle. You know, so they say eight hours of sleep. Well, it it's more like seven and a half hours is more ideal. But if you're counting in, you know, 15 minutes to go to sleep plus 15 minutes to wake up, then, yeah, eight, eight makes sense. But you really want to get smart about how you're setting al- your alarm so that you're uh, getting full cycles in. So, you know, six hours is better than seven hours um and it's a it's a misnomer that you know i think a lot of people believe that the more sleep you can get when you're tired the better well not necessarily it's quality a lot of the times over quantity so be very conscious about that and then um you know subconscious commands again what you're telling yourself when you go to sleep um what you know, what do you want to dream about? Have you ever thought about that? Do you command your dreams? Do you ask for specific things to be done while you're dreaming? I, I can't tell you how many times I was able to work out something that was, you know, either bothering me or I had to had to, had to um, talk something through with someone or I had a disagreement or there was a problem I needed to solve. I do a lot of that stuff in my sleep. Uh, I wake up feeling better. I wake up feeling a lot of times with resolve because that's what I'm asking for. I'm asking for my brain to work through things. So, you know, you could say I'm working while I'm sleeping, but um, I'm, I'm just asking my subconscious. So you'll be amazed at what happens when you actually do this, when you actually tell yourself, tell your subconscious what you what you want to do do you want to astral travel do you want to go visit you know parts of the universe do you want to fly what you know um again you'll you'll be shocked at uh the capacity and the amazing things your brain does while you're asleep oh and by the way if you don't remember your dreams maybe try asking to remember your dreams and uh keep a dream journal so that the minute you wake up, when you write it down, it um, it tremendously helps with recollection. And then with uh, uh so you see here, pazis. If if you like to nap or you want to nap, or maybe you've had troubles napping in the past, pazis is a great app to use. It it uses um, basically sound waves to put you into a sleep cycle quicker. 
so you can program it to do like 20 minute naps 30 minute naps um 90 minute uh what, whatever you want um so bill's daughter bonnie who's a nurse uh she swears by this uh, technology by this application it's a free app i think they have paid versions if you want to unlock more um, hey brian <laughs> I swear yeah. by it too. This is Kate. I've been using it for like 10 years. I love it, love it, love it. There we go. We got another one, another believer. Um, yeah, it's pretty amazing how quickly it, it knocks you out and you wake up feeling refreshed. Um, so um, highly recommend that if you're looking, if you want to be able to get a, a quick nap in during the middle of the day. <clears throat> now, uh, meditation so this is tied to i forgot who said it a couple times ago um breath work uh being very beneficial one of the things that's extremely underrated in my opinion and not a lot of people talk about it but the the benefits that just consciously breathing has um there's there's a lot of studies there's a lot of science coming out now that's seeing the benefits supporting the benefits of meditation on a lot of things like stress reduction anxiety depression bl blood pressure inflammation even addictions um so many more i mean it seems common sense almost that you know meditation would would help you in these areas but when you start to look at the data and look at the real effects that it's having um it's pretty profound so if you're not doing this today and by the way you you don't have to just sit there and in silence and close your eyes and and breathe that's only one way of meditation you can do it you know exercise is a form of meditation um i love yoga for this reason there's a you know um moving meditation this is more of a moving meditation i find it easier to get into that flow state or that place where you're really quieting the mind you're quieting the mind to you know find some calm find some peace you know balance yourself can't say enough about it um, meditation is absolutely one of those things everyone should infuse into their daily routine you know even better than just taking a nap meditate for 15 minutes you'll feel like you just took a nap oftentimes even better because sometimes you can feel a little bit groggy when you get up from a nap um so highly highly recommend getting into that and there's apps for this too um joe dispenza the author that i mentioned uh, a couple times ago he has some great uh, audios guided meditations for this there's so many resources out there, free resources. Um, so try it out, you know, see what happens. Uh, I've mentioned Alcat already before. This is the food sensitivity test. And uh, it's not an allergy test. It's looking at how your body reacts to, um, you could go up to 300 some foods. Um, pretty pretty amazing when you see the things that you react to because it's like things you would never think about you know i always talk about the example of romaine lettuce you'd think it's good for you yeah not for everyone it might be causing a reaction it might be creating some kind of in you know foods might be creating some sort of inflammation so um, another great tool to use if you have i don't recommend it for everyone but if you have you know um, skin issues, inflammation issues, digestion issues, even just chronic fatigue, things like that. Um, yeah, you want to get really conscious about what you're eating. Q-Links, this is another product that we we sell. So in full transparency, if you want one, we, we, we have some in stock, I can, can get you one, or you can just go to their website. We don't make a ton off of them. Um, but this technology is designed to shield, I'll call it, um, shield you or protect you um, 
minimize the effects of electromagnetic radiation. So when you think about the fact that your computer right now is emitting a, an electromagnetic field, um, your refrigerator, lights, there's electricity being, in, we're, we're bathed in it all day long. And your thoughts, guess what? Our electricity so you have to you have to consider the fact that there's some interference happening um, and what Q-Link technology does is basically act like a tuning fork oh, so, oh did someone say something oh um, if you ring one tuning fork and you bring one another one that's not ringing next to it what happens the other the one that's not ringing will start to ring and it'll amplify the volume it'll double it so if you think of your body as a tuning fork emitting its own frequency electromagnetic field you're in essence strengthening that field so that you're not experiencing as much interference by electronics. Um, so it's it's very minimal. It's almost unnoticeable until you actually test your body. So it, it affects things like flexibility and the speed at which you can think and um, recall information and um, strength even and it's around they say 10 to 30 percent so you don't really notice it uh, the difference but you um, at least I've noticed a difference when I take it off and I forget to put it on I've, I've actually um, got sick one time because I forgot to I misplaced it and I didn't have it on for a couple of days and I got sick um, so I actually wear one just this little it's not even electronic, it's a long copper wire that acts like a, an antenna or a tuning fork. So um, if you're interested, go to their website. They've got lots of great uh, research and things that you can look at. And if you, if you want one, I can certainly uh, get you a price or get you one and send it to you. Hey, Brian. What's up? Um, I use their ClearWave clock. It's right up above my computer here. Yeah. Um, I've had that for seven, eight years. Um, I also have one I can wear, but I notice a difference when I'm away from my computer and I'm not remembering to put, you know, the portable one around my neck. Um, right. During my uh, move and transition, I didn't always have it nearby and um, it, it was noticeable. Now I'm set up again and it's right up above here in my office and I, uh, I'm a big believer. Yeah, it's pretty trippy. I mean, I was a skeptic at first, and then I actually used it. And the more that I thought about it, it, it just makes sense. Um, I mean, we're our, our phones, we're on our phones all day. I mean, you, you just got to think it has some kind of effect, even now with, you know, the whole... 5G technology, and I'm not fully on that um, conspiracy bandwagon per se, but um, yeah, it's a different electric, it's a different wave, it's a different radiation that we're, we're being bathed in now. And so that clear wave technology that Kate mentioned, the clocks, they have devices that you can just put in your room. They even have things I think you can put on the back of your phones. Um, but uh, I, I just prefer to wear, wear mine. Uh, and then fasting. So I've, I've mentioned this before in previous calls. Uh, I believe it is one of those things that everyone should do at some consistent capacity. Um, you know, just think about the fact that religions, almost all religions, have done this for thousands of years you know look at jesus and gandhi and you know whoever you can look at 
many different um, leaders throughout our our time. It's it's kind of interesting. This is what first put me onto it um, when I when I dug into you know the reasons behind it. There's certainly spiritual re reasons um, which are very subjective and different for everyone. Um, but really the physical reasons as to what it does in the body, um, you're essentially resetting the system. You're giving your, your body a chance to sort things out. One of the thing, one of the metaphors I've always loved about it is if you've got a garage, uh, and you're constantly, you know, getting deliveries from Amazon and, you know, you start filling that garage with boxes and you're just getting deliveries every day, every day, you know, eventually your garage is going to fill up. And if you don't have the time to sort through the things and you're constantly getting, you know, boxes delivered, things get, you know, clogged up, things get to capacity. You don't, you need to give your body a chance to sort through and then um, the for the prolonged fasts, um, so you could do intermittent, which is only for, you know, there's many variations to it, 16 hours, you don't eat until noon, and then you stop eating at 8 o'clock. Um, but for the prolonged ones, you know, multi-hour uh, or multi-day, even the 48-hour, um, there's a process at which your body goes into called autophagy, where it starts to eat from within, is what it, it, that is Latin for. And it starts to recycle bad, toxic, cancerous cells. So you're getting, again, your body a chance to recycle some toxic things out of it. So I think it is absolutely necessary. Um, it's argued how often you should do it. But um, again, um, leave that up to your own research and, and make your own choices about what, what you want to do with that here. And then um, for specifically for fasting, Mercola.com is a very amazing resource. One of my favorites is one of Bill's favorite. He uh, put that, he put me onto that as well. Um, very smart guy. It's Dr. Mercola. Um, I even have here that a lot of the tips. So he has so many great articles, but this one was 21 health tips celebrate 21 years of Mercola. And so there it is, eight hours of sleep and get your vitamin D and sit less, move more, or intermittently fast. There it is, consider water fasting. So it's just a great quick resource. Um, I've always loved his information. Um, and if you want to do your own research, highly recommend going there. So those are my, my quick tips, quick actionable tools that uh, you can implement right away.